guys, what is up? It's me, it's Sana, and today I've got a new video for you guys. Um, today we are going to read a few new chapters of Sweet Deception. Again, I don't know where we ended, so that's insanely fun. Okay, so now we are going to read episode 9 and episode 10 of Sweet Deception. Chapter 9, Bad Guy. Well, in that case, I want to do something for you. Do something? Come on, Regina! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Here's a slice of cake for you. Thank you. It looks amazing. Now, in the light of it being your birthday, let me take you somewhere. But where? Anywhere you want. It's your choice. This would be the perfect opportunity to use what I've learned about her. And maybe get some information from her. I think I know the perfect place we can go. As friends, of course. Of course. I'm just going to hop home to change. Meet you back here? You got it. Are you ready? What's happening? Why are we here? The normally strong, fearless woman is now suddenly, subtly shaking. Her eyes are like those of a young child, about to go into the big, scary world for the first time. Petra, are you okay? I... I have a thing with heights. Just breathe. Yeah, like... I can tell she's not sure, as if the next step she takes would be the most frightening thing she has ever done. Don't be scared, I've got you. And then, any trace of doubt is immediately gone from her face. She takes my hand and joins me at the edge. Wow, this is not scary anymore? Oh, it's still terrifying. But it's really something. I love coming here. There's something about this view that's so incredibly calming. It's breathtaking. I can feel her eyes on me, but I choose to ignore it. Now, since you got to ask me some questions, I think I should have that opportunity too. Fair enough. Big questions Petra will ask you. What kind of music do you like? What's your favorite book? Where are you from? And how old are you? What's your favorite book? The Constitution of the United States? What the fuck? Uh, actually, I'm really into true crime books. Recently, I read I'll Be Gone in the Dark. It was so scary and captivating. And you? Me? I'm a Stephen King fan. So we both like scary and a little creepy stuff. <laughs> it seems. What kind of music do you like? You know what? I can't really remember the last time I sat down and listened to some music. I usually just put on something classical while taking a bath. It relaxes me. Regina, I need to hook you I need to hook you up with some fine jazz tunes. I got this remastered Miles Davis album. Petra Sawyer, are you going to make me a mixtape? Maybe. Where are you from? Well, I was born in DC. My parents lived in Texas when they met, and they moved here when they got married. Do you like it here? I do. I love it. Although, I do want to move out of the capital sometimes in the future. How old are you? Hey, that's not a question you can ask a lady. Fine. You don't have to answer. I'm 21. You? I'm 25. I wonder if we're both lying. An amusement park? This is my second favorite place in the city. Just watching the big wheel go. Want to go for a ride? Not right now. I should use this opportunity to get her talking. Petra, talk about your dreams. You know, 
when I come here, it reminds me of what I used to dream about as a child. It really helps me stay focused on my goals. Oh? And what did you dream about? I was always into storytelling. Not just the things that happened before, but reimagining the entire world around me. I dreamed of writing this huge fantasy book with a world everyone could get lost in. That's some dream for a child. I guess I was an old soul. How about you, Petra? What did you dream of? I can see her getting lost in the distance. Not sure if she's soaking up the view or remembering something. I... Well, I... I always wanted to make a difference. To do something good in the world. Of course, when I was little, that included running around the house with a red cape and a mask. Really? I pegged you more as a Catwoman than a Supergirl. Hey! Supergirl can fly! And she has x-ray vision. Yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to save people. The irony of how far I've come. What do you mean? You're doing your best to help people, no? Yeah, sure. She laughs at herself, almost mockingly. And then I can see the conversation is over. Any birthday wishes left? Kiss me! I want a kiss, a song, nothing else. A kiss. A friendly kiss. What other kind is there? Softly, she places a kiss on my cheek. Happy birthday, Regina. Anything new to report, Ancient Buffet? Actually, I tell her about Petra's dreams or don't tell her about it. Uh, I do have something. Oh, I don't feel good about this. Petra, she, uh, she, she talked about her childhood dreams. How she played a superhero, wanted to save the world. And she said something very interesting. She said, the irony of how far I've come. You're right. That's very interesting. It seems you're onto something. Now all you need to do is dig deeper. You get her to reveal more about it. You got it. Um, listen. Did you manage to think about what I asked you? I forgot what she asked us. I did, yes. Um, I'd love to have coffee with you or maybe we can have coffee as friends. I think we should have coffee as friends. Maybe we can have coffee as friends. So sorry, Claire. Yeah, of course! As friends. Hey, Regina! Morning! Um, I'm running a bit late. My train just decided not to show. Yeah, they love to do that from time to time. Oh, excuse me for a moment. Hey, boss, what's up? Her boss? What can I do? Listen, into, listen in on the conversation or head inside the diner. I try to move closer without her noticing, trying to catch what Petra is saying. Yes, everything's been fine, as usual. Uh-huh. I wonder if this is just some cover boss from a side job she's doing. Or if it's someone who actually is in charge, meaning Petra is not a single player. Yeah, sure. I can drive to Baltimore today. No problem. Baltimore? Yes, sir. You got it. I'll take him with me. Sure. Okay, I'll call you when we're done. I'm sorry about that, Regina. It's fine, don't worry. Let's head inside. <laughs> oh! That's Claire. Hey, I just... What the fuck? Hey, I just had an idea. We could do something a bit more fun than just coffee for our date. It's not a date. What do you think? It is not a date, Claire. She wants to take me swimming? I love swimming, or that's a terrible idea. I love swimming. Oh, I love swimming. That's such a fun idea. I'll let Fee, Shira, and Smith know. Oh, right. Great. 
Great, I'm looking forward to swimming with the team. Yeah, like I said, it's not a date, so. So team, any news? Share what you know about Petra's phone call or I have no news. I have no news. Sorry. I, no, I have no news. Really? Nothing? No. I thought you had gotten really close to Sawyer. Surprised you don't have more to share. Maybe I'll have more next time. Okay, got it. Our field agents managed to dig up some pretty helpful information. Get Virginia's new info or skip the info. Uh, we're gonna get the new info. I'd love to see what you found. So Petra recently got a visit from someone pretty special. Oh? She was visited by an older woman and a young boy. They seem to be your mother and her brother. The boy seems like he is about 13. Give or take a year. Her brother is so cute. No father? No. I'm not sure if they're just divorced or he's deceased. And we don't know where her family is from. Petra has the habit of letting things slip away from our fingers. Including people just disappearing from surveillance. Still, this is very helpful. Thank you, V. I was smart at this idea. Going swimming with my co-workers. And standing here, being so exposed. Clara makes me feel comfortable or Clara makes me feel awkward. I don't feel awkward. Clara makes me feel awkward. I'm so sorry, Clara. As much as I'm trying to relax, there's just nothing natural about this. Why did I even let myself get talked into doing this? Oh, I didn't know you had a tattoo. Yeah, I got it on my 18th birthday. Did I tell you about the time the gang I infiltrated made me get a tattoo? Yes, several times. Of course I had to get it removed. Gang symbols on the pool definitely wouldn't be fun. I wish we'd gone to a shooting range. Me too. I don't know. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, I bet you are. And you, Phoebe? What? Oh, I... We should have gone shooting or I'm glad we're here. We should have gone shooting. But you guys know you would have lost, so I guess that wasn't an option. Hey, I'm, pre I'm a pretty good shot myself. Pretty good. Not the best. Phoebe. Oh no. You look so good in that suit. I have to admit. I kind of do wish we were here alone. Maybe we could do this again sometime. Just you and me? Yeah, sure. Or no way, Jose. Just babes, take a hint. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. We work together. It would just be too... Messy. Messy? I think it could be great, pretty great too. But hey, it's your choice. Okay, I think I've burned enough calories to last me a full week. We need to fix that with pizza. Who's up? You know, I'm glad we did this. Yeah, it was nice. That's good to hear. She moves closer, putting her arm around me. Regina? Fuck! Uh, those were episode 9 and 10 of Sweet Deception. We're fucked. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And then you guys will see me in one of my next videos. Bye, guys. We've been dancing for so long under the